That is crazy. I was listening to your talks and I heard you talking about Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and all these neurological diseases. I was like, what? Uh, so like, what is the mechanism? Like, do you, like, what is the explanation behind that? Yeah, well, it, it looks like it's sort of related to, to insulin resistance and that after a period of time, you know, when you, when you have carbohydrates, you know, you, you, uh, you, you, your body then secretes the, the hormone insulin, which drives the sort of a, the glucose out of the, out of the, uh, the bloodstream uh, and, and stores it and, and makes it available for use. And after a while, you become resistant. When you have a high carbohydrate intake, you become resistant to that, uh, to that insulin and you require more and more insulin to have that effect. And with high insulin, you then get uh, uh, fat deposition in, in the pancreas and the liver and, uh, and, and um, obesity and, uh, and then, uh, then slowly develop uh, type 2 diabetes over a long period of time. Um, so insulin resistance seems to be a major, major factor. And then, as I said, inflammation. I mean, uh, you know, sugar and, and processed food, the, the vegetable oils and so on in, in processed foods are very inflammatory in nature. And... Um, and we now believe that uh, like chronic low-grade inflammation is, is at the core of a lot of chronic disease. So uh, um, from you know cardiovascular to, to mental health and, and so on. Um, 